Hey everyone, welcome back. If you don't recall, we are currently on a mission to find the final piece of the Cyclops engine by searching far and wide with the scanner room. And so far our search efforts appear to be in vain. So. We're going to pack this up and move it around. We still have a lot more areas that we can go and explore and see. What, um, what sort of fun we can uh, find. So, anyways. Oh, there's a big zappy boy over there. I gotta be careful about. So, probably gonna run out of space right about now for titanium. Or maybe not. Come on, please, please, please. Ah, oh, so close. Um. Crap, I'm gonna have to go put something away, aren't I? Let's see. Where's the storage at? Come on. Open storage. And we'll put the dead... Oh, we can't do anything with that. We'll put away our dead battery in there because we don't need it. So. And let's finish the deconstruction process. And... So it is currently nighttime and it is very, very dark. Like, very, very dark. Alright, this would probably be a pretty good place to set up shop. Maybe. No, I really don't know, but let's give it a shot. Because why not? So we're going to go and set up our multi-purpose room. This has gotten a lot easier now that we've started uh, storing all the materials in our inventory for better access. And hatch. So, now we need to go and catch some, uh, critters real fast. Oh, I just missed him. Just barely. Oh, I wonder if I can use a creature egg for that. That'd be pretty helpful if I could just, you know, throw a creature egg in there and call it good. Wait, are those... Tree leech. Oh, I can't harvest them. Um, come on. There we go. Alright. And let's build our bioreactor. And let's see if the creature egg actually um, does what it should. Oh my gosh, it does. Cool. So that's gonna last a while. All right. Let's um. Let's give it some time to uh. We're gonna have it search for reef backs, and then we're gonna go and get some food while it does its searching. And then we're gonna go and go back and see if it found anything, like fragments. 
So. I actually think we're in an area where we can probably find uh, engine fragments. So that'd be cool if that's the case. Although I don't see uh, any uh, critical landmarks besides the stacks over there that would tell me exactly where I am. Alright. Got anything good? Sandstone, stalker tooth, rag, solid reef pack, limestone track, metal salvage, shadow box, tree. Nothing good. Let's see what kind of good wrecks it can find, though. We've got one up there, apparently. Two up there. So let's go take care of those real fast. And let it just keep scanning. Well, I want to take a real fast wander up here and see if maybe by some... You know... Oh, they're not stacks, they're... Oh, I thought those were, like, those giant um, pillars that are over in the dead zone way over there. But I guess not. Alright. Have we been here before? Let's find out. Um, I can't really tell. I don't really remember if we have or haven't. Um, oh, we've been here before. So it seems as if the possibility of us finding, I don't know what I'm doing. My Seamoth is over there. This might be one of those weird situations where we just have to, like, go to somewhere where we don't think it would be, no matter what, and then do a scan. Because it seems that if I'm, I keep looking where I think it'll be, but I'm finding nothing. So, if this doesn't turn up with any uh, wreckage or anything after searching, then we're going to go and uh, move it somewhere where there definitely should not be a Cyclops engine part. And see if there is one, because at this point in time, what is logic? I mean, you would think with there being a crest, Cyclops bridge, and Cyclops hole, and other materials, that there would most certainly be engine parts nearby. But no, no, there is not. Okay. So... Uh, Time to deconstruct everything. Oh. All right. So I think that we're going to have to go and here we go. Okay. Let's head all the way to the surface, do a peek around here. The ship should be that direction if I remember correctly and my senses are properly orientated, but they are probably not because I really could really use the compass. Okay. Good. So, we're going to go and head diagonal towards here, sort of near the void, and set up shop. Because honestly, why not? So, we should end up reaching a straight drop-off here pretty quick. So... If I am remembering my areas correctly. Nope, we are near land. 
which means Leviathan. So, fantastic. All right, so we're pretty high up, so there's definitely no engine fragments around here. But why not head straight down here and see what we can find, because why not? Because we haven't been here yet, so we may as well just take a little peek. Am I right, or am I wrong? Huh. So the area is not safe at all. And I'm probably going to have to get out and do repairs pretty quickly here. We got this really sick salvage. So, uh, you know. What's that? Is that what I think it is? Yes, oh my gosh, finally. You've got to be kidding me, they were over here the entire time. Is that another piece? I, it better not be another piece of the engine prize. Seriously? I don't actually think I've ever been here before. What's down there? Well, I've been here before. I don't think I've actually like, explored the area in depth. So, like, you know, like, oh, you know, there's some cool alien stuff over here, but where are we? Only more questions have been raised, not answered. Okay, so that's a prawn suit grappling arm fragment. Let's see if we can scan that in. Perfect. Okay. Um, anything else? Maybe? Perhaps? Maybe another grappling suit fragment? Oh, a door we can open. Ah. Shocky, shocky bits. Got it. Um. Oh, I definitely need that. Let's head back to the Seamoth real fast and drop off all of our new stuff. Oh, I didn't finish, but oh well, we'll just drop it off real fast and then, uh, can't drop it off there. But I can drop it off here. There we go. Okay, literally all the parts of the engine are in this one area. There are three of them. How is it that I wasn't finding any of them before? I am, like, extremely infuriated that I just spent literally seven, ep eight episodes searching for this stupid engine fragment. Almost several hours. I didn't once think to look over here. Uh, my disappointment is immeasurable. And my disgust with myself is unbelievably high. Oh boy, this is what I'm talking about. Some heckin' cool tech. What do you mean inventory full? On the bright side, we're gonna have enough um, titanium to build the Cyclops like right off the bat. So, you know, that's cool. Okay, there's also this branch that we need to check out. So where's our sea moth? Did they destroy it? Did they eat my sea moth? Oh, no, it's just down there. I'm just blind as a bat. It's kind of hiding. Okay. All right. 
So we finally have the engine propulsion, the engine stuff, after following my theory of let's search where we don't think it'll be. Because, you know, why would it be with anything else, right? Such a ridiculous theory of it being with its other, you know, counterparts. Like, come on. That was so crazy of me to think that. I wonder if this is where I found them last playthrough. It might be. <sighs> okay. Well, anyways, we have... Let's see, first aid kit. Now nah, we're good on first aid. It's a nutrient. Nope, first aid. Ooh, lasers. Okay. Um, there it is. I'm going at a rate about 5.5 .5 per second. So, yeah, it'll take about 20 seconds. No, not even 20 seconds. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. There we go. All right. Data box. Probably something that I have. Is that... Oh, wow. There's a lot of them in here. Okay, we need the grappling arm fragment for sure. Okay, now we need to get out of here, like ASAP. And then get some air. Yes, I'm working on it. Oh boy. Oh boy, I am dead. Yeah, I might actually end up drowning. Okay. Let's continue our exploration efforts, but this time, you know, get a sea glide out so we can do stuff faster. Okay, where was the entrance at? How did I lose the entrance already? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Or maybe not. I must be some sort of advanced idiot. That's exactly what I am. There's a door right here. I didn't open previously, but now it is open. And... More stuff that I missed last time, apparently. Okay. Door. Okay. Somehow I went in that end over there. And crossed over. Okay. That's not what I wanted. My disappointment is immeasurable. I'm just really glad that I have the engine fragment. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. All right. We already have the propulsion arm. We already have the prawn suit unlocked. So, wow, this area would have given me literally everything that I would have needed. Yes, let's repair the door instead of cutting it open. We got the Cyclops. We just got the si stupid Cyclops. I was gonna say something, but I gotta keep it PG, you know? Alright. Data box with useless stuff. Oh, swim charge fins. I don't know what those do. I don't think I got those last time. Did we get the grappling arm fragment? Okay, yeah, we got all of them. Cool. Okay. We're gonna drown. Oh, no, we're good. Fantastic.
We're just going to ignore all signs of possible danger and just go straight forward. Because I don't know what else to do. I don't even know there's ground. Oh, nope, there's ground below us. Okay. Well, ground in quotations because, you know. Oh, well, I really wish that I would have searched there first and not, you know, the entire floor of the freaking mushroom area. Well, anyways, we are here. We have arrived. All right, let's take a look at what we need to build our big old sea boy. All right, the sea boy needs a lot of enough glass, advanced wiring kit, lubricant, pastel, and glue, lead. Okay. I'm so cool. Okay, now we need, um, no, I want to get in there. Okay, um, oh, we're going to need lead too and uh, lithium. Thankfully, we have a lot of lithium. Okay, but we need one more stock or tooth by the looks of it. So... <sighs> okay, a wiring kit. We need an advanced wiring kit. So we need a computer chip and a wiring kit. So the computer chip is made from... Oh, we actually have, like, the resources for that hiding around somewhere. So... And we need one more table coral sample, so let's go get that. So, it's kind of cool that we can actually convert a majority of our scanner room setup into uh, the uh, Cyclops development uh, construction stuff. There we go. So, and I know for a fact that we have a lot of titanium in that CMOT that we can definitely use. So, we're going to pull a lot of that titanium out, actually. Okay, hopefully that's enough to do another uh, ingot in there. But in the meantime, let's start condensing the materials we have even further. We need more gold. Gold, gold. Gold, gold. We have lubricant in there too. Okay, good. We got plenty of gold. All right. And now we need more uh, titanium. We'll just yank it out of here. And we're going to need two more lithium by the looks of it. I think that's lead, not lithium. Yep. So we're going to need those two. We're also going to need that and that. We're going to need a lot more quartz. Power's getting a little low. Got to kind of watch out there. Oh, sun's up. We're good. All right, let's see. Um, now we just need glass, the uh, special kind of glass. So we need a lot more quartz, which thankfully quartz is super common in these giant coral tubes. 
So we just gotta find a really, really big one and then go scavenging in it. Thankfully, they're pretty much everywhere, so we just gotta find where one is located and we're good to go. We also need to go find a stalker den and pull some teeth, so. That is what we're currently doing, is going to a stalker den to do some teeth pulling. You usually just kind of find them laying about. This might be something that I might need to rebuild the scanner room for. So, how messed up would it be if like after going through all of that with the uh, the, the uh, um, engine fragments, if, it, if it's the stalker teeth that holds me up from finishing it this episode. That might drive me a little over the edge, if that turns out to be what it is. But in the meantime, though, there should be some quartz just kind of free growing around here. It's kind of hoping that be copper, because we're really low on copper. So we gotta check the, uh, the seaweed areas for uh, stalker teeth. There's actually one nearby the life pod that I probably should have checked first. So, the only problem with rebuilding the uh, scanner room is we'll need silver for the wiring kit, but we don't necessarily have access to silver right now. At least none that's readily available. Come on, where are those big freaking tubes at? There used to be everywhere. Why can't I find any right now? There's one. It's a uh, Literally right under my nose. Why am I doing this, my voice? I'm completely losing my mind. Okay, we literally just need... Oh, there it is right there. Alright. Now we need to go and yank another tooth. So... We'll kind of just be laying about usually on the floor here. Sometimes near their big piles of metal. So... Maybe I should build a scanner room. I don't know, I feel like I'd spend more time searching for the materials for the scanner room than I would searching for a stalker tooth. Ugh, you guys, come on. I'm just trying to pull your teeth. Stalker teeth are kind of like the resource where it's like, you know, they're everywhere at first, but then uh, they just kind of like, you know, you don't when you don't need them, they're everywhere. But as soon as you do want one, it's like none can be found ever. I need salt for water. <sighs> Maybe I could just go and catch a bunch of bladder fish and call it good. Maybe a mix of both. I don't know. I'll focus on getting salt for now. I might have a bleach supply actually available, but I'm not going to risk it. So... God, those guys are so annoying. Yeah, 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 I know. Hmm. Oh, hey, butterfish. Oh, there's another one down there, too. You know, you're tired when you're having a hard time motion tracking. Um, 
maybe I'll just get lucky and just one of them will fall out of their mouths right now. Hmm. Or perhaps not. I'm going to get a medical kit from here. So I keep playing with the dangerous fish. Uh, and real fast, let's just get the water out of the way real fast because, I mean, I don't want to die. So we need, uh, we still need a little bit more, um, just one more stalker tooth and it's good to go. Just one more. We can finally get the Cyclops built. That's all it takes. Just one more. Table coral, copper, gold, great. Literally the resources that I do not have. At least there's no silver involved. That's kind of good. Okay. The copper thing might be a little bit of a pain to do, just simply because copper is literally one of the most used and, oh crap. Copper is like one of the more used resources, so it's a little bit more difficult to get my hands on it. While well, titanium is mostly is used a lot, it's like, you know, not really used as often as... Well, like, okay, no, 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 I'm just kind of like mildly rambling. It's used, but it's in such a high supply that it doesn't matter how much it's used. Like, you can't go 12 feet without seeing a new, uh... A new uh, thing of, ah, uh, great. Literally what I do not need right now is valuable resources for once. It's kind of funny to think though. And I don't have any power with my uh, sea glide. That's great too. Should probably uh, change the batteries out and uh, get a new set of fresh batteries that have power in them. Come on. Tell me your secrets. Where are you, stalker teeth and or copper or? So without the sea glide having any power, we're kind of in a really weird state right now where there's really no good way to get our dirty little hands on things quickly which maybe for the best we can actually go around and look for stuff we're gonna need a lot of salt like a lot of salt because the salt's gonna be used for water because water is in not too high of a supply So, still no sign of any more copper and or stalker teeth, which is disappointing. You'd think that there would at least be a lot around here, which there should be. There should be a ton of uh, stalker teeth in the area. But none of them are really easy to find, apparently.
which is exactly why we need the scanner room. So, I am not entirely sure what the best course of action would be because I'm trying to do a two birds with one stone approach where I get, well, not really two birds with one stone. I mean, it's kind of like, I'm just trying to hope that I can at least find something that I need, whether it be copper and or, oh, hey, look at that. Ah, oh, you jerk. The lag is getting a little real. I have no idea why. Probably just because there's a lot of activity in, uh, in this area, in this region. So... Um, come on. Stupid little ore outcrops only having titanium and the occasional random copper. And of course it's almost nighttime. Why wouldn't it be? I just need one more. One more copper that I do not have the space in my inventory for. That's fantastic. Okay, I literally don't need any titanium right now. It is one of the easiest to get resources. Like if I want titanium, I can just go and raid a stalker nest. I cannot believe the one thing that's holding me up right now is the stalker tooth. You know, I said that as a joke, not as something that you actually had to enforce game. Come on. Come on. Stop playing a really bad game of hide and seek. You and I both know I'll find you eventually. You gotta make this the easy way or the hard way. The hard way will only rend in spite and hatred. So come on. Come out, come out wherever you are. I promise I'll be gentle. Okay, so, there is no sign of the ore, or the teeth anywhere. Oh god, no. That scared me. Come on. No. Oh, the first time that happened, that actually got me. Like, I, I was like, oh, okay, I'll swim close to it. Maybe it's, like, part of one of those weird hallucinations you have. Nope, turns out it's a trap. Hmm, I can't believe I fell for it. Come on, please. Yes! Okay. Okay. So, we've got, we're going to keep an eye out on the bottom floor here while we travel, just in case it turns out there's a stock or tooth in our path. Because wouldn't that be something, right? You know, you can go shove it.
Huh. Fascinating. I'm working on it, don't worry. I'll do it when I feel like it. Alright, you also need table coral. So, I mean, let's get that too, I guess. Come on, stop, stop running away. And... Habitat Builder. Time to re-add the scanner room. The one that we once had once upon a time. And, of course, titanium is the resource we're lacking. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't we be lacking titanium? No, don't you dare talk to me like that. <sighs> I should probably also refill the batteries. And I should probably also get some uh, of the uh, coral that works as a um, as a bleach, so I can you know get some water. That'd be real great. Okay, come on. Perfect. So we gotta refill the batteries. And then we gotta find... Okay, let's go and drop our, um, our upgrades in, just because, why not? There we go. And... Okay. And then we need to go and get some bleach, because bleach is good for the soul. Bleach cleanses thy soul with Clorox power. Okay. And we also have to deal with our empty, empty battery problem. So... Let's go grab the batteries out of the Seamoth. They're not in there. There they are. Okay. <sighs> Alright, we have two batteries that need a that need a hookup. So we're gonna give it give them a hookup. And then let's convert one of those bleach things to water so we don't die. And let's go grab one of those stalker teeth. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of them, they're just kind of hard to see. So it looks like the closest one is actually that one because of the parallax that's happening to it. Maybe that actually looks like it's pretty far. Oh, they're they're everywhere. Okay. There we go. Such a nasty little bugger to find. Oh shut up. There we go, now we have our stalker tooth. So now we can make our cyclops because we need apparently teeth to make strong glass. So why not? Great. All right, looks like that's not really an option. So what we're gonna have to do is cancel the search, like right now. There we go. 
And let's go make that final, uh... Come on. TikTok. There we go. All right. It is time. Wait, do I have everything? I think I need like some about something else for some reason. Let's just check to make sure. We're good. It is time to construct it. Construct the cons unite. Where is my mobile vehicle bay? Do I not have a mobile vehicle bay? Come on, where is it at? Where is my little floaty chair? Are you really gonna make me do this to find it? Okay, it's all the way over there. For some reason. Are we closer? Okay, we're almost there. That's not a mobile eagle bay, is it? That's a rock. You lied to me and I hate you. Those bastards lied to me. Oh, it's over there. Guys, 2019 has been one crazy year for memes. We've already had like three new ones and they're already gone. Like, like they're dead already. But we're still using Drake memes, brain explosion memes. We're still using the Lisa meme. Like, come on guys, let's spice it up a little bit. Okay. Do I have enough room to build the Cyclops? I do! Whoa. I, I'm not going to use that, but that was like really good timing for the eclipse to happen. Drop it. There she is. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. That's what we need for the screenshot. To show that I finally accomplished something. 2,000 leagues under the sea is time. You know, this is like, I think, my favorite vehicle in like any video game. Because it legit feels like you're piloting something massive and capable of some seriously awesome stuff. Like, seriously. Ah, oh, finally. It's good to be back in here. This feels like home. This is what I remember from some Subnautica is spending like hours upon hours managing this thing. Ah, all right. So now, let's see what we have available. We're gonna need the efficiency module pretty soon. We can actually get the death module pretty soon too. Um, fire suppression will be useful. And actually all of those will be useful. So, you know, there's that. Um, let's see. Well, shoot. We got our Cyclops. And that's all that matters. <sighs> finally. Oh my gosh. Finally, 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 finally. Alright. Well, we did it. Thank you everyone for watching this episode. We finally did a thing that actually matters and we didn't just spend the entire episode searching for stuff. So, hey, yeah, well that happened. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Um, if you're still watching the series, we finally did it. We, we got it, now the game can actually begin. So, <laughs> let's get started everyone. Anyways, now it's time to conclude this episode and wish you all a fantastic night. So, 
I, I mean, I mean, I guess I did. I did just say it. So thank you for watching, and have a fantastic night.